Wow. Looks pretty. You're going to love it. Hola amigos, I'm Ulysses Cruz, I'm a professional chef with 10 years of experience the last 5 years doing plant-based cooking. I've been enjoying doing ever since. Yes! So in today's video we're gonna make one spaghetti squash. The recipe is going to be over there. And also I hope you get it and if you like, please share this video or hit like this video. Let's move it. Let's do it! I'm gonna fill this pan with a little water. So what I'm going to do, if you have your squash, just cut it on half. Remove the your sticker. So if you have your squash, just cut it on half. Remove the sticker. We don't need the sticker. Also, remove the seeds. One spoon, it's easy. Ha 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 The best squash, look at this. So right now, so I have right here my pan. So medium high heat pan. Let's go into, just make sure that it's in there completely, I mean, make sure that you have enough water. We're gonna boil it until this is tender, and also we're gonna scrap and bring out the spaghetti with one spoon or one fork. It's going to be easy and simple, just on this way. I won't add any salt or any other ingredients, just water and the squash. So amigos, while this is cooking or is boiling, so right now I'm gonna make my sauce. A little bit of white onions or yellow onions. How much? Just I'm gonna use two tablespoons. So then I have a huge onion. Just I'm gonna use a little bit. Oh my God, I'm pretty sure that I'm using something like three tables. It's not a big deal. So just make sure that chop a little bit your onion. So in another saucepan, just medium high heat. It's a perfect time to mince my garlic. So my onion, my garlic is ready. And also right now I'm gonna clean my, or chop a little bit my tomatoes. You can use Roma tomatoes or other tomatoes. This is like two tomatoes. One is a little bigger than the other ones. It comes like one, I mean, two to three tomatoes. Once your saucepan is hot, it's time to saute a little bit or onions. Yes, just a little bit. What? Hey, so let me show you a little bit. It's getting color slowly, but it's getting color. It's getting a little brown color. So if you see right now it's boiling my water. Everything looks perfect. Time to add it or garlic. One garlic. One piece of garlic. Wait a little bit until it's getting a little brown color. I mean, something lively. So it looks perfect. Everything is going well. So right now it's time to add or tomato. Also, salt and black pepper. What are you doing, Ulysses? I'm adding the tomato. A little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper also. So then, amigos, this is happening right now. Everything is boiling or everything right here, if you see. So then, amigos, once you see this kind of tomatoes, those are tender, those are cooked a little bit. It's time to add or seasoning, a little bit more of salt, pinch of paprika, black pepper, and one to two tables of tomato paste and there is something in between one and a half tablespoon i'm gonna mix it very well my italian seasoning one tablespoon a little more of salt black pepper and mix all Just wait a little bit until your tomatoes bring out all the water that is in there. So I'm gonna add also my pinch of paprika. 
and everything goes well everything is going good so amigos right now look at how looks my sauce so if you think it's too thick added a little bit of water just a little bit so right now water damn smell good so then i'm gonna let it simmer by 15 to 20 minutes but in that time i'm gonna add something between a quarter cup of basil and quarter cup of parsley fresh basil and fresh parsley fresh basil fresh parsley so then amigos, right now I'll check my sass, how it's going, everything. Also, I'm going to blend it. It's going good. Everything is going good. Just let it cook by a couple more minutes. I mean, something between 15 to 20 minutes. Just make sure it cook very well. And also reduce a little bit the liquid. Once it's reduced, we're going to blend it and also bring back to reheat it one more time. And also right now is the time, a good time to adjust the seasoning oh that taste i mean taste it all the time if you think it's too acidy yes because the tomatoes or tomatoes sometimes are too acidy added a little bit of sugar okay i have right here a little bit of sugar i'm gonna add it something between one table and two tablespoons so amigos right now i'm going to blend it Ah, I love this aroma. It's your choice, the texture. You can leave a little chunky pieces in there, a little big pieces of tomato, or make everything like a sauce. Boom. All right, look at this sauce. Wow, it's too hot. Oh my God. Smell good. So I'm going to bring back and give a little extra cook. Once you see your sauce is boiling, just reduce and let it simmer by 10 to 15 more minutes and wait until your squash is ready. Just make sure that it's tender, your squash, and that's it. It's this simple. Oh my god. So amigos, how do you know when your spaghetti squash is good or is ready? It should be tender and also just let it cool something between 10 to 15 minutes also you can remove that strands with a fork even if you can hold it or also if you're doing that just use one dry towel and use one fork okay there is no fork oh, oh, oh. amigos you can use also one spoon forget about the fork who needs a fork when you have one a spoon wow yes actually you don't need a fork you need one spoon look at this is how it really looks like this is how it looks like a spaghetti so right now it's ready for plating actually i'm gonna plate it right here i won't use any plate i'll use this skin <laughs> yes i'm gonna use this skin why not look at this spaghetti wow it's still so hot yes i would use any plate look at this beautiful bowl my sauce is ready my sauce is hot and it's time to serve it amigos look at this beauty you're gonna love it so just i'm going to add it a little parmesan a little cheese and a little bit of basil fresh basil and a little bit of parmesan cheese wow look at this eco-friendly bowl you're gonna love it for sure if you really like it just share this video i really appreciate it thank you so much peace and love and i'm gonna eat it look at this how it looks like you're going to love it